Hey, hey, what's happening, guys? We are back. Welcome to the first of our super mega awesome, crazy long live stream. This is the first of three. This is the graphics live stream. Sitting to my left is art lead Paul Haney. And to my double left is senior lead graphics programmer, Patrick Hager. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about all things graphics for this first hour. But before we do, uh, the sweepstakes, which we do every Thursday, is still happening. We'll give out the keyword at 2.50 p.m. and we'll run the sweepstakes at 3 because there are no more streams after this. We're doubling the prizes. So yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. So we're going to talk about lighting, faces, grass tech, new head rig. We're going to look at one of the new classic stadiums. And we're going to go into detail to the player model improvement. So this is going to be a real nerdy stream. We like nerdy things, uh, very in-depth and detailed. So let's get started. We have a video we want to show you. Paul, can you tell us what we're about to watch? Yeah, this is a uh, video, <clears throat> sort of a uh, behind-the-scenes video of our new face rig and the uh, capture performance uh, system. So apparently we can't talk over the video, <laughs> yeah. so that was kind of fun. Okay, so what you just saw was uh, sort of a behind the scenes video of our face rig and the capture process and how we, uh, we mark up a actor and that actor happened to be Eric Heim from the character team. Um, and we get him in the mocap studio and we use a head mounted camera to record his facial expressions and how he talks and uh, various other things. And then on the right side of that video was our rig that was sort of an early version of our rig that's in the game now uh, that's being driven by that video performance. And the fun thing about it this year, this took a long time to, to get into effect, um, is this yeah. new face rig that we're switching from yeah. joint-based animation to blend shapes. So instead of just moving the parts of the face around, we're actually getting blend shapes, which is just bringing it up to... Right. Yeah. yeah. This is a two-year process. This was when we started on MLB <coughs> 16. Right. Yeah. Two-year process, couldn't put it in 16, and we finally were able to put it in MLB to show 17. So that's one of those features where we talk about with two- and three-year processes. Right. 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 Yeah. We started in 16, wasn't quite ready for 16, so uh, 17 was the year to get it in. It's ready for prime time. It's ready. So you see better uh, facial expressions, especially moving forward, we can capture a lot more uh, performances that are, that are more like The detail, yeah, it's a lot, a lot more detailed. There's Step a, one. There's approximately 200 blend shapes in that rig, so compared to our old system, we had about, I think it was about 45 bones total that uh, lasted pretty well for the PS3, but PS4, we really needed to bump it up. And uh, this is the year we're doing it. All right, fantastic. So the other thing I'm excited yeah. about is the eyes. So in last years, we, we kind of had the same eye feature. The eyelid was the same for everybody, and it always bugged me. That's like the most defining part. Uh, I, I have folds, of, uh, eyelid folds over my eyes. Yeah. Uh, the new blend shapes allows us to start customizing players to, to al allow for some of those yeah. changes. Yeah, being able to do that really makes a difference in uh, getting the likeness of a player more accurate. Right. It's, it's a big part of the face that people recognize. Mm -hmm. Speaking mm -hmm. of faces, we're going to take a look at Anthony Rizzo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is that? Is that last year's? Yep. So we got last year's on, that, is that the left? Is that right? Because they're looking at different. Yeah. And then we have MLB The Show 17. All right. Y'all saw these uh, a few weeks ago. So let's talk about what we've updated graphically for the faces. Faces was one of the focal points this year because that was what we decided on. That's what everybody wanted us um, to do as well. So what are we looking at here, Patrick? Um, well, I mean, this is, this is an old photo of uh, 16 versus 17. I would say just bring up the PS4 with Rizzo. But I mean, there's a, the, I don't know what to, where to start Well, the, the face rig is there. You can't see it, but yeah. it's there. The, the eyes are, uh, just the shape of the eyes is, is uh, much improved. Let's switch to the game. The big change is the the skin shader. The uh, well, last year, like our eyes were 
pretty close to the shape of a real eye. This year they are much closer to a real sort of spherical eye. The reflections with the new shader stuff Patrick's done are a lot better. The skin reflections are a lot better. Uh, the subsurface scattering is improved. It's, it's all big bump in quality. Right. Big bumps in quality. The other thing is, so the eye tracking, the, um, if you look at the eyelids and how they, they follow the eyeball when he looks around, that stuff's improved because it's all blend shape based as well. Um, but yeah, the eyeball is now perfect and round and um, right. the detail on the reflections, we'll see some of that in the game when we get up close. Did you want to bring up other players to look sure. at? Sure. Um, Let's see. Who are your pros on your list? Um, we had the Cubs, Ped Pedro Strop, I guess. Pedro. Pedro. Pitcher. Yeah, I shouldn't be saying the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take his glasses off, though. I found if you go to equipment. Oh, yeah, sure. Glasses are there. Hey, I've got a widget for that. Hang on. There we go. So here's Pedro. There he is. Um, yeah. That's pretty, right? <laughs> That's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty. pretty. So hard yes. talking to nobody out there. So you can't tell. Who else? Anybody else want to look at? Uh, Minori Kawasaki is on there. What team is he on? Dodgers. Dodgers? I think that says Dodgers right there. Well, that's yeah. LED. Oh, no, sorry. It's not. It's, it's not uh, Dodgers. Uh, <laughs> what team does he play Cubs. I think Cubs. I think it's Cubs? Cubs, right? You have Cubs here, Strope, and Meckard, this guy. Now you're on Phillies. He's on the Phillies? Or yeah, he's on the Cubs? No. You're on the I'm Phillies. on the Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> I would just start looking at heads that you like in here bring them up and well, I want to find the guy that you mentioned does anybody know what position he plays he's at the bottom wait oh is he a pitcher come on somebody in chat help us out what position does he play because I have no idea who this guy yeah. is no help well, you can short stop all right there we go there he is up to up to there, there we go all right oh he's a minor league I have not seen those glasses. I did. Well, that's that's an old set of glasses. But we were on the, the originals. Mm -hmm. All right. So the other thing, let's see, we're in the Cubs. How did that work? Okay, Cubs. Tell me if I can't go into some of these names. No, you're fine there. Okay. So we were at Rizzo before. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. That's what we just looked at when we started on Rizzo. Can't. Uh uh. Nope. So the specular response is going to be much more fun uh, in the, the skin shaders. Um, the hair shading is improved. Um, we'll get into that. Let's see. Let's get done. Yeah. Oh, why don't we, body sliders. Why don't we go over to body sliders really body quick sliders? so we can show those off. So Create a player. Here we come. <coughs> Sorry if this feels disorganized. It's hard to uh, hard to figure out what order to do things in. Yeah. So uh, body type was always an issue for our game. We kind of had this similar uh, feel to everything. So this year uh, we were able to add the ability to change the length of the spine and the strength of the arms. So if we look at the spine length, it, you get a, a longer torso or shorter torso and that helps kind of define the character of the person. And I'll max all these sliders yeah. out so guys can see what happens. Yeah. It's something that's been on our list for a long time and uh, I think we, with the help of Phil. Yeah. Here, yeah. Other graphics. Awesome, right? Butt Everybody. slider, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah that, was num that was Ramon's number one thing right there. Yep. yep. Get some glutes in there. So it's, when you've got thousands and thousands of animations, you can't just change the bone lengths without really breaking everything. So um, Phil came up with a way of, of getting it to work around that system. And so we're getting a lot more variety and personality. They don't all feel like they're kind of the same. My favorite is the <coughs> shoulders and collarbones. 
Neck and shoulders. Yeah. Because that was probably the thing that people complained yeah, about the most was shoulder that everybody pads. had the same shoulders. Right. And they had shoulder pads. What we're also going to do is we're going to jump in game and we're going to turn off this feature so you can see what guys looked like last year in comparison to how they look this year. Yeah. So I create a few. It makes guys a big difference for sure. A huge difference. Uh, sleeve length as well, which is under which is equipment. under equipment, equipment uniform. Yeah. This is when we were trying to figure out what defines somebody. Um, the tailoring of the jersey was one of them, and the sleeve length it kind of implies that when when it's a short sleeve, it's a it fits around the muscle. Yeah, we need to add that to the to-do list. Let's get closer cameras on on that. <laughs> and now you can see as I randomize the sleeve, it changes. And then the sleeves are colliding with the, the biceps so that they can... So the biceps can this is all right. we have an all new <coughs> color palette for Creative Player. Skin tone. Yes, finally. Skin tone. So the very, very top is your brightest desaturated white tone and then it becomes more and more saturated as you come down. And See, just going through the head, going through randomizer. That's a good one too, because it actually changes the head shape as well, which which helps match the skin tones. Is, is right. That was another thing we did with the create players. The uh, <clears throat> the actual shapes of the heads, sort of the uh, presets, if you will. Uh, we redid all those based off of oh, yeah, that's right. uh, realistic heads or people. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it, it did make a big change. It, it definitely improved the look of these generating guys quite a bit. Whenever you go through the heads like that, it starts looking scary, like they're all <laughs> monsters. Yeah. Have you ever done that where you go through like the real people and or, or even movie stars and they just start looking scarier yeah. and scarier? All right, and that is Creative Player. Well, so, so we have a... You wanna go into hair? Go into hair? Yeah. All right. So we're not gonna show all the hairs. We're gonna do that during the road to the show stream, but I will show okay. a few. In the first, so we started from scratch with hair. We got rid of all of the old hairstyles, um, and we chose about 22 new hairstyles. I didn't get everything in this year that I wanted to get in. Like um, I couldn't do dreads. I really wanted to do dreads, but you know we'll do dreads next year. But I'm really satisfied with the uh, new hairstyles that we were able to create for this year. Yeah, game. the art team put together a lot of the character team put together a lot of different hairstyles and maps, and Tim Flair went in and edited a lot of. Uh, alpha fade outs and really worked on the blending this year. That's one of the problems we had. We had two pipelines, one for the main players and one for the generated. And the generators suffered from some of these ill effects of uh, the hair knot blending was one of them. It, it just just sat on top of the skin tone and it felt very unrealistic. So a lot of improvements. They're not as, as scary looking. In, in fact, I'm really enjoying them. You know what I love about eyebrows? The unibrow. The unibrow. Yes, sir. Nice. <laughs> the unibrow, and we, we still have all of the old sliders in here, so you can change. Ed, you can still go in here and you can edit everything just like you could and get this guy some good color on his lips. You can change his jaw and chin, and we'll just randomize it so you can see the difference. And that is show the ears. Go into hair color, too. We've got a nice palette of hair colors here, so you can find it. If you go lower left, somewhere in there, you'll find me. There you go. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. I'm on the spot. A little bit. So we've got we got grays like and blondes like and and reds <coughs> and uh, in a very good palette. And you can get extreme and lower right's pretty bright red. I was mm -hmm. Thinking of clamping it down, and then Tim said, "Hey, if they want super bright, you want red, super red, red you can do super red." Yeah. Right here. Um, and you also notice as you're rotating around, the lighting on the hair is is much improved. And the reason for that is this whole new bank bent normal process that, that I worked on this year. So it figures out kind of the visibility of everything on the face and the hair included. And that let it finally get the, the anisa lighting. You can see the, the effects on the hair there. So wow. really happy with how that turned out. And then that process now happens uh, runtime so we can apply it to the created players. So uh, some of the processes that we used to do only to the major leagues, we do offline and put them on the disc. Now we're doing them as we load in. And so we're able to apply them to the, the created guys as well. So again, people are spending a lot of time in Road to the Show, and we wanted to make those Road to the Show players look as good as our MLB players. So. All right. 
So we have a really funny video to show you. This thing gave me nightmares. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, show the slide yeah. first. We've got the crazy hair slide plus the screen cap of the video. Crazy hair slide. All right, so that's what happens when you have a bug. <laughs> oh my God. We've had several bugs throughout the year that create these effects, and that, that was a freaky one on the left. Uh, it looks like something out of Resident Evil. The hair can get stretched across the field. It can become giant. It can do all sorts of crazy things. The right one, uh, play the video. We, we can't talk over the video, right? I, and I don't even remember what the bug was. It was, it's just random. Like some compute well, phase was out of sync. And I it think it was some update with the rig that we did. Oh, we, yeah. we were... Do y'all want that face in the game? Yeah. <laughs> Can we add that face in? That would be give us 50 faces. All right, so there's a slide on bent normals. Um, so when I was working on skin tone, I kept looking at our players and they never looked right. And you could see on the left, in shadow, under the cap, in a daytime, he was still getting energy from the sky. And that's because we do, well, I won't get into that. So the, I'm not gonna be as technical this time. So basically we were getting too much blue light hitting your face and it shouldn't be because there's a cap it's there. So the, the bent normals technique network. removes Should that. It, it, it brings in the light from in front of the, the player so he just has more natural feel. On the left, it's he's kind of ghoulish because he's getting this, this blue energy. He's sitting in the dugout. He's really getting that. Um, and so the bent normals fixes that up. Um, we have a third slide on that? I can't remember. Okay, this is last year's and this year's. And there's two issues going on. Last year, in this case, the skin tone was too dark and I, it was creating these dark areas of lighting. But also, even if you brightened that, it would be blue-gray and it just felt wrong. And so on the right, he's, he's correctly going into shadow and he's got more green light because he's standing on grass. So I, I just, it really bugged me to see the, the heads in shadow in bright daylight. And so that was the genesis of the bent normals. And then it turns out they, they were really, really handy for uh, the hair. So I'm going to borrow your Still trying to get a hit. domain remote. Welcome to Third the time's a charm. There we there go. go. Nice. <coughs> All right. Did he both of them? Um, not yet. All right, so the point of this is just to show off a little bit, right? Should we turn off the... <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. Can't. Hang on, I think I got those on a widget now. Yeah. Mm, maybe not. No. Do you know how to do that one? No, you can't turn those off once you select a guy and replay on, in this mode. Okay. Well, there you go. He's 3.75. Isn't that exciting? And you can see some of the sweat, which is new this year, around his mm -hmm. nose. You can see a few mm -hmm. beads of sweat. You can really see the work that we've done on the eyes and the skin tone. Yeah, and that's you can a see a little bead of sweat on his uh, eye black. Yeah, it's really exciting. You can get in, in really close now to the eyes and they, they hold up. And he is reflecting the stadium, is that right? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. so it's changed time of day, you can see it. He's got shadowing, so it shadows the reflection. Does the sweat drip in replay? It does. Um, it it moves forward yeah. as you scroll through time. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, and I'll show you a trick at the end here where we can we can make it move forward. So, some changes to uh, just specular energy and how it works. The, the faces in general just, yeah, just, just pop so a lot Explain to people what specular energy is. Uh, well, specular energy is, uh, there's the stuff that the, 
the material absorbs, and then there's the stuff the, the light bounces off of. So if you ever look at a wall, you'll see light bounce. I don't know if I should get technical, but sure, yeah, get technical. As, as you, as if you're looking at an object, it's reflecting light, and as you glance along it, you'll see that that reflection perfectly of of the environment around it. That's the specular, and we can show what that looks like. This is yeah, I want us to get technical. Do they want us to get technical, Shay? Y'all want us to get technical or not? No, it'll be like, yawn. <laughs> I'm reloading shaders. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, that, this is the specular component, which is a local reflection of where he's standing. And it's, we use roughness, so it's either a uh, perfect reflection or it's blurry to some degree, and that's varying across the face in different materials. So let's see, if I end the replay, I think the sweat doesn't know that the replay ended, and so it'll sit there and stream. The metal looks very nice. Wow, what is going on here? The game looked worse, worse than last year, right, guys? Right? Is that what they're saying? <laughs> there we go. So I guess if you tell him to stand still in replay, then he starts getting nervous. Then you start seeing the beads of sweat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can they see that on the stream? Yeah. It there it goes. The There's one. There just one down. Either that or it's a little tear. He's and crying. Yeah. And they cool. cool. look so good. Three one lead. They follow the. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. They follow the, the geometry of the face. Who can I look at in here? Uh, right fielder. Right. Yeah, Jason Haywood has a really really good face. His skin came out pretty good. You can see beads of sweat going around his beard. Oh, there's one. And he's really green right now because he's facing the ground. So he's getting on the grass. Bounce stuff at him. And he's sporting the new Nike shades we have. Yes, yeah, some of the new equipment. Whoa. Crazy right now. Right. I'm not used to this replay camera. When you get too close, it backs in. If you take it off Need of your other camera, you want me to put on the regular, the uh, other camera, so you can get right yeah. up on them. That's all right. Um, one other thing I'll point out while we're here. There's a slide called Exposure. Exposure slide. Yeah. Let me see if I can set up a case here. Um, so what are we looking at? <coughs> another thing that I was noticing is calculating exposure is one of the hardest things to do. A cameraman knows what he wants to focus on, and we kind of have to guess. And so we use like center balanced weighting, and we try to like figure out some things based on what's going on. This year, we are putting up, um, you know on a digital camera, when you, when you do this, you'll see little squares show up mm -hmm. on people's faces, and the camera's saying that those faces are important, we wanna expose them nicely, so uh, now we do that, and so it gives me more information to expose, and so on the left is, is with the effect turned off, and on the right is with it turned on. Um, so it, it can make, it, when you're zoomed in close, it can make the exposure jumpy, but it's doing it for the express purpose of making uh, the face look good. We can't look at him, right? Yeah. You can look at him now. Or Anthony. I'll come back over here. And so I have that on that menu. And this was something you added super, super late, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like, all the fun stuff goes yeah, in. Yeah, like, like two weeks ago. Even if it's like, okay, it was ten minutes ago. before the stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this guy is so late. Okay, so development build. It always is a little scary to to use this one live, but now you can see this is our our center weighted average function, and then it has these heads in there that says this guy's more important. And those are the red dots that we're seeing, right? Yeah. 
So um, an example would be if this camera's too hard to show. Don't show him. Oh, people will get bored in a second. Let's see. All right, so this is a good example. Normally, we would be exposing to um, the scene back there, but because his face is right here, we're, we're making that an important part of it. So I can turn that off. He gets priority, I guess. He gets priority. And that's last year, this year, yeah. last year. That's a really good example, yeah. actually. And it, it, I told John it felt like, uh, was it when somebody pops up in, in your camera, they shutter bomb, fl uh, photo bomb you? That's what it looks like. <laughs> you know, we're, we're exposing based on the dirt, and, it's, and this guy's photo bombing it. But right. with this thing now, it says, you know what, he's more important. If you go off, then yeah, we'll look at the dirt. But this guy, it's really important that we see him. And that's also going to really push and bump the lighting and make it look good because you know, without it, it just loses detail. But, and it'll blow out stuff around it. All right, so turn that off. So we should show, should we show the uh, body scaling turned off? <coughs> sure. Yeah. You want to see the PBR on the shoes? Oh, yeah, PBR on the shoes first. It's fun. We have gold. Look at that. You tell the metal spike they have PBR now. Shoes have PBR. I think a few people noticed that um, in some of our content that came out the last few weeks that how the shoes start, started to pop a little bit more. That's because we now have PBR on shoes and equipment. Which is what you're right. seeing with the metal spikes. Yeah. yeah. And that's a new brand too as well, our New Balance brand that yeah. we got in there. We have the New Balance, a Adidas. Bands. Some updated Nikes. Updated Nikes. Shoes probably got the most bang for the buck on the PBR stuff because they have metal and some pretty cool materials that the manufacturers are using now. Uh, gloves got it a little bit. Padding gloves did too. One else? Green. Yeah. Yeah. This was nice. All right, body scale sliders. So if, if we rewind this replay to whether it's standing up straight, it'll probably look the best. Oh, actually, I don't want to. So if you rewind L1, you you're all the way it. back. I, oh, I'm this one? <laughs> now, this is a camera. You're in replay. Oh, I'm in replay. Here we go. All right, so again, stand up straight. Ah, that's perfect. Oh, we're turning off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn off. Somewhere. Where is that? Uh, body, types. body types. There's twos right there. Either one works. All right, so what we're going to do is turn off this year's body types nice. and turn them back yeah. on. So that's what he looked like last year. And so this is what he looks like with the body scale sliders. Yeah. It's the demise of the shoulder pad. Got to get an amen. <laughs> <laughs> turn back on and off a few times. And we'll look at a few more guys. Actually, he's also an example of a new, another body type thing. Yeah, he's got the husky body type. He's got type. the husky body type, yeah. So his jersey's not quite the fat one, and it's not quite the normal hmm. sort of average one. It's got a little extra really weight. So Jake Ariad, I need you to get up off the ground. Wow. All right, and turn off them all on him. And we'll go and look at Hayward. And you, you can see his spine is <coughs> elongating a little bit. He's getting yeah, a little yeah. his spine is going up. All right. Chapman's another one. Chapman. Spine wise, I don't know if we can, he's, on, he's, he's no on. longer on there. Yeah. yeah. He's no longer there. Yeah. All right. Is that face exposure? We just did that. We did sweat, shaders, eyes, faces. PBR shoes and gloves, Grass Tech. Uh, yeah. Let me zoom out. We can and swap in Ramsey too, unless Paul. Is John, you ready? John, you ready? Whatever. Well, thank you, Mr. Right. Paul. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. Check my hands. So uh, I'm going to steal your camera. Mm -hmm. um, Do you need my mic?
Gentlemen. Oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to show you all the PBR options at the end, not the PBR options, the PS4 Pro options at the end of the stream. Yep. Show you all the PS4 Pro options at the end of the graphics stream. So, uh, Grass Tech, we're always trying to improve it and we will keep improving it, but uh, th we used to have a pattern layer that gave you the, the cross hatching and mm -hmm. the, the field. Um, the stadium artist went through and added geometry for every one of those, and they dictated the mow sure. direction so that you mow the lawn this way, you mow the lawn that way, you mow the lawn this way. And the concept is as you are facing the mow pattern, it's darker, and as you move around it, it becomes brighter, and that's because the, the grass blades are bent towards you or they're bent away from you. So when they're bent towards you, you see a lot of shadow in the thatch, and when they're bent away, you're seeing the, the light reflect off. Um, there was a really fun video of a groundskeeper in Boston that was showing off, and these people are passionate about it. So uh, he was describing the effect. PhD so. soil management, Mississippi State, stand up. So now um, we're able to take that information and, and change the lighting, so you can see the the patterns are changing as we move around them. So it's, just, it's, just, it's a small thing, but it it helps. I think it makes it more realistic. John Ramsey, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It's great to be back. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and John that's what is we're our seeing stadium expert. Around, right? He makes all this stuff come through. Yeah, you can really see the patterns get darker when you came far out. I can go up to night. Night game. Yeah. So, just a fun little touch. It does add a lot of variation, though. Yeah. I want to get, I, I really am going to write down, I want to add the ability to get the replay camera in the dugout. How fun would that be? I shouldn't say things like that on the stream. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you show your indirect lighting slide already? Indirect lighting slide. Perhaps before we go to Shea Stadium. Um, oh, is I that the time of day change? Well, I mean, one thing we did do uh, a little bit more this year, we focused on the stadiums, is getting uh, more accurate uh, bounce lighting throughout the stadiums. Um, and, you know, we do have some, uh, uh, we've done some work as well. Um, oh, you and how that. that changes throughout the day because of all the different lighting conditions. You know, Baltimore is a really good place to do that. Um, it has really good indirect lighting in Baltimore. So if you want to. Oh, okay, the slide's up. Perfect. So what are we looking at here, Patrick? Uh, you know, that's nothing new. It's just kind of a reminder of, of how fun indirect light is. This is a guy who's walking onto the field, and you can see um, on televisions, you can see this a lot more than on monitors, but uh, he's getting this green and blue energy, and as he moves onto the field, he's getting more bounced energy from the dirt and the, the bright grass. So uh, every, every time the players move two inches, they recalculate all their local lighting. Um, there's that fun thing we showed last year. If you turn on the lighting ball, lighting balls. Mm -hmm. I, I was actually watching on TV in the kitchen just the other day. Uh, you know, pitcher on the pitcher's mound. And it was ridiculous how blue his pants were mm. and how brown on the top and how brown they were on the bottom, even though he was wearing a white jersey. I mean, the the lighting is exactly. So for people who probably didn't see at. last year's graphic stream, <laughs> what are these white balls we're looking at? So every player is building a, a little database of the light that's hitting it. So he's standing on the mall, he's ball, the mound, he's getting a bunch of dirt straight up. This guy's standing over in the field. Um, and that's why we're seeing that brown tip. Yeah, and so I can show you the roughness overriding, let's see. So if that ball was made out of, an, uh, I don't know, like a clear coat sheen, yeah, you can see in his hat mm -hmm. suit and a uniform. So that's the stuff he's reflecting at this point. And as we change that slider, it's going to become a more and more rough uh, reflection until it's diffused out. And so, um, where's our. Can you scrub forward in time? Ooh, then he'll walk off the mound, actually. Ooh, let me grab this. Oh, let's just focus on our first base thinking. runner because he's changing a lot. Okay. 
So there you can see it really well. The, the lighting that hits him has to account for the fact that we're standing in the middle of this dirt path, but we've got green to the left and green to the right. And if I change the time of day, which I think is what I'm so most proud of in our, our game is that we handle all these crazy conditions. Like we don't just have a, a fixed lighting environment. We have to handle mm -hmm. what happens when this part of the sh stadium goes in the shadow and the indirect lighting that John's talking about for the stadium uh, in the dugout and on the, the brick wall, those things start fading out with our time of day as well. And then each player has to account for that. So as he's running, he's getting closer and closer to a lit area. He's getting brighter and brighter. He's kind of in, there he goes, yeah. Total white, white to go. He shouldn't get too into this. There you go. So that's lit. That's no texture. That's just the lighting information. And then if he was um, glossy, doesn't look like that. Yeah, it's more pronounced that way now. Yeah, same thing in the stadium. If we look, it's the easier to do here. Is this fun or boring? We born? We born, everybody? Shay? No. No, we're not? <laughs> <laughs> Making people dizzy yet? This looks like almost like a black yeah. and white game. They want all this in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course they do. <coughs> so here you can see. Um, Hopefully you can see, actually this is not a good example because the light usually isn't there. Yeah, Baltimore is a much better place to show that. All right, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn all this crap back off. And we'll go into Shay. Yes, I'm gonna show that. I think you're in. Yeah, you're it. I'm, I can just try it. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we're going to show you one of the four new classic stadiums that came over the PS4, Shea. Why, why do we choose yes. Shea? Shea uh, looks well. really good, but lighting in Shea is real. I think it's probably one of the better looking stadiums in the game, especially at night. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's one of my favorite stadiums this year. It's a new stadium. Um, you know, we, we've got our team of artists. Uh, you know, they're always constantly re uh, working on improving our existing stadiums, and then I think we're up to it. 80 stadiums in the game now with the new stadiums that we've added. Um, so they actually manage a lot of different stadiums. And so Shea, for me in particular, stands out. Um, it's oh. a different team. Oh, oh, a different team? Yeah. It doesn't matter who they are. Hit the square button. Oh, I guess I can do this. And change them to Toronto. Let's And SunTrust Park is in the game. We just will not be showing it. You will see it from the Atlanta Braves in the MLB, probably in the next week or two. Seven. All right. There's a lot of stadiums that these guys have to deal with. 80 huh? stadiums. Um, How many artists do we have for the stadium? Seven. Seven or eight. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> not a lot. So how yeah. many stadiums How many stadiums do they have a piece? Uh, well, that might be 10 a piece that they're... Uh, uh, working with. Then we so. have all the geo tagging for the day and night cycles. Oh man, and then they had to create all the environments for Rose to the show, which y'all mm -hmm. will see later on, the second part of the stream. Well, the second stream, which will be Rose to the show. Oh, none of that has been shown yet? The schedule? Oh yeah, um, we are coming to the end of the graphic stream, and then we're going to take a break. We'll probably let the game play, but we'll end this stream so it archives, and then we'll come back at 2 p.m. Or maybe we'll play some of the dev tourney games in between, and then we'll start the road to the show stream. We'll finish that, take another Nighttime. quick break, and then we'll finish off the dev tourney, Turn off the ball. show yeah. some legends, which we'll do at this yeah, stream, at and some other things. Seven, I'll okay. do nine or eight then. I want it like a nice dusk. Mm. Four, one more. Um, do it in here. All right, we'll get it so we can move around here in a second and get a better look at the stadium. 
since I'm an environment guy, uh, you guys have talked way too much about players. So it's <laughs> time to look at the uh, environment. No, I'm going to steal this. Look at this guy. No. <laughs> hey, can I see that for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, wait. i got to stop all this jazz. I'll put you in the replay here. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like. You got to step off the mound. Yeah. Yeah, graphics programmers, you're looking at how much we play the game. We, we hit a ball, and... <laughs> and that's it. Like, <laughs> no. And All I've right. got the widget set that every hit's a strike, and or every hit's perfect, and every throw's a strike. So, uh, yeah, so this is new for this year. Um, it's a, a very good perfect. rendition of the old Shea Stadium, um, including the old Apple. I mean, if you just look on the materials on this, like one thing we, we did last year is we went over to PBR, which is the uh, physically based <coughs> rendering, uh, which just allows us to create a lot more realistic looking materials. So metals look like metals, plastics look like plastics, uh, painted surfaces look like they're painted surfaces. Um, and you can just see that everywhere in the I stadium. I like the pole up there. It's nice. um, yeah, the poles have a lot of uh, detail to it. I mean, just a very convincing you know, everything in this stadium. I don't, I don't see anything that stands out. I mean, this is just a very well-balanced stadium. You know, all the padded walls. Um, Go over and show that metal. Oh, yeah, that metal yeah, looks this great. Is, I haven't even seen this yet. That looks fantastic. I see I see this particular thing, and it makes me want to work on, like, a uh, FPS or something. Shh. Well, we'll have a mini game where you can <laughs> climb up in there. Yeah. It'll be really fun. No! <laughs> I work baseball. <laughs> throw balls off of it. Uh, but just to, like, well, it's yeah, like all, the, all yeah. the surfaces and things we work with are, like, clean, and this is one of the things that actually shows some weathering. <laughs> to it. So. We've been and doing baseball for 14 years. Huh? See, that's why, yeah. you know, Creative Stadium needs to be fast-tracked, got dang it, so did not we can say add words. stuff like that. Yes, I did. Oh my God. Uh, I want Creative Stadium bullpen. just as bad as y'all do. Creative Stadium? Mm-hmm. Yep, would, Creative I, Stadium. I would love to work on Creative Stadium. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Sean. Let's go to your plan. Cut, Cut's not listening to this. We're going to have, have a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be in pre-production for MLB 18 in like a month. Yeah. It's a four-year plan. Oh, shit. Oh, he, he's, he's busting in. <laughs> he's busting in. To make it happen. Is that tips? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is tips. Uh, let's see if we go into the dugout. I'm going to look at the dugouts. I can also try looking at uh, different times of day. See if yeah, this day looks fantastic. Yeah, if you want to go. Oh, man, it looks great. So on the back wall, you should maybe see some bounced energy up on the signs and stuff. But Baltimore has a, a really good, just this shadow that moves perfectly across the back wall, and you can see that. Old school. Yeah, that was a great course. stadium. Like, I mean, this used to be one of the hardest stadiums for us to do on the PS2 because of how big it was. Yeah. It, was um, it had like the most crowd, it had all uh, more uh, Chair colors, more variation of crowd. Can you go up to the PowerPoint? The PowerPoint? Yeah, mm -hmm. it shows off PBR really, really well. And that file pole looks fantastic. So, but, you know, every everything in the stadium just looks really good. Lighting, um, very well balanced. Something we talked about last year, um, and it's still true, is the stadiums all have their correct latitude, longitude, and rotation so that uh, the shadows that we cast on the field are going to be accurate to 100%. the day. So you can go on the, the TV and see a game played in August, and you should see the same shadow lines in the game. And that's also something that makes our game really difficult is we have 80 stadiums yeah, and hold your they're camera. not all domes. So there's so um, full day and night cycles. June, July, does that still work? It's not oh, it doesn't update anymore. There uh, it is. But if I go to October, I just have to click multiple buttons. So in October, it's already in shadow by five o'clock. And then the, the angle of that will change too. What else? Anything else you remember that you'd like to take a look at? I think we've, we've, we've shown how good this stadium really looks, mm -hmm. and all the stadiums in general, especially with PBR. Being yeah, the artists just year. continue to refine and add. I mean, last year we threw together a lot. Um, the yearly cycle release is really tough, you know, because you 
you add tech, but then you have to, you have the R and D, and then you have to build your production. Then you have 80 stadiums, and mm -hmm. you know, the, not really a year. It's more like 10 months. Yeah, 10 month cycle. You have test, and it's eight months. And Show it just his gets smaller uh, and smaller. the the catcher's gear. And see, we're back to talking about players. Um, oh wait, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're just messing with me. <laughs> That's not <Got> fair. <laughs> I'm too trusting. Um, can we talk about HDR? Sure. Yes. Can I drive? You want me to drive? You can drive because okay. there's nothing I, we can do. So we're doing PS4 Pro. Uh, unless you got anything else on the stadiums. No, I'm, I'm All right, so if you want. Bring up the PlayStation 4 Pro slide. Here are your options if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro. So Patrick. Yeah. Just talk to the people. Okay. Well, so first of all, even if you don't have a PlayStation Pro, if you've just got the original PS4, you can turn on HDR mode, and I love it. And I, if you've got an HDR television, like once you do it for a while, you go back, things just feel wrong. It expands the color palette, so things will feel clipped when you go back. And depending on your television, it will give you more um, range in how bright the thing can be. So on standard definition, uh, can I borrow this? So can we go back to the game real quick? Let me find an example. Can I can I look at you? So you can, you can look at the blown out sky shows. and all right. Having to come up with a strange example, but okay. Up in the corner, you can see the dirt's blowing out. Um, maybe if I come down here. There. Where's my dugout? You look at the dirt. Am I making people the sick? Sky. There we go. So in this scene right here, we're focused on this guy in the foreground. The sky is completely blown out, and the dirt is pretty much a yellow yeah, nightmare. Yeah, the grass. Okay. So in high dynamic range, uh, depending on your television's ability, you'll see the sky, but the sky will just be super bright. You'll see the dirt, but the dirt will be bright. Um, so the range of that is, uh, if you go back to the slide, I have a thing called HDR intensity, and this is all new for us, so mm -hmm. we're all kind of trying to figure out how to how to do this. It actually starts at zero. But we, we, is that what the game starts? Yeah, the game, the, the, the it should default to zero, uh, all, all the way to the left, and that's kind of the initial starting point. You look at the game, it should look great. As you push that forward, it's gonna make it brighter and brighter until things are gonna start blowing out even on your high dynamic range TV. So if you've got a, a thousand nit TV, feel free to, to slam that thing up almost to the top. If you've got a 300 nit TV, keep it down low. Just adjust it till you like it. I mean, it's gonna give you different effects. Um, HDR in general is, is really crazy. You have, to, you have to enable it on the PS4, I think, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you have to set it to autumn. If you plug into an HDR television, I believe it switches to automatic, but if it doesn't switch it to automatic, then televisions oftentimes the main port is not HDMI 2.2, mm -hmm. it's the second port. So check and see on your television. So you might plug it in and go, nothing's recognizing it. Try the second port. I don't, a lot of TVs are doing that. Uh, another thing is some TVs, you go into settings and you enable it on a per port basis. So, oh, I have to turn it on for this port. Um, and then the last thing you might see is if you've got a 4K HDR, you go into 4K mode and it bumps you back to 1080. And that is because the TV is saying it doesn't support the enhanced HDMI 2.2. And that's actually an, might be an option in your TV. So at first you might think it doesn't support 4K HDR. It might go look into TV's options because I ran into that with my TV. I was like, wow, I didn't. That doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't it not support it? And then I found it, turned it on, and hey, look, it worked. All right, and that so was that's school HDR. National HDR. So we have three other options, yeah. for, which are called visual mode for Pro for PS4 for Pro. PS4 so that all Pro. that everything I just said except for the 4K applies to every Works with PlayStation model. if you have a 4K TV. Yeah. So Pro, we have uh, three options. We have uh, the high frame rate, which just means it's, it's 1080p buffers. We're just trying to, to push as much uh, frame rate as we can. So you're gonna feel the game be more responsive. Mm -hmm. um, it's my favorite. I like HDR 1080, because I don't, I don't know if 
the 4K doesn't balance as much for me, and I'm kind of a frame rate person. So I like 4K. It's beautiful. 4K <laughs> is beautiful. <laughs> That's true. Right, so the crowd is not 4K is an yeah. option, and we're going to use pure 4K buffers, and that's when you want to have your big screen and show off because the edges of, of everything is just crisp and gorgeous, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to run slower. Mm -hmm. uh, then we put in the middle ground, which is the enhanced, uh, visuals. enhanced visuals. So that's 1440, and it's going to it's going to run the same frame rate as a base PS4, but boost the resolution. So that's that's probably a good go-to. And um, those are your PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 4. 4K TV options. Mm. All right, they're happy? We finally talked about that. Everybody happy? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of comments about 4K <laughs> yeah, not being in there. All right, well, that is it for the graphic stream. But don't leave yet because we still got to do Legends Revealed and a few other things before we end this stream. So thank you, Paul Haney, John Ramsey, Patrick Hager. Yep. Thank you so much. And we're going to let these guys go. We'll be right back. Have right. fun. Bye bye. Still on a development zone. Mm -hmm. I'll come get you in so we can switch it off. We're back. Yep. Are we back? Hello, we're back. We're back. The couch has changed. We got Stephen Haas joining us. Stephen, what we're we gonna talk about right now? All right, well, we've been revealing legends and some flashbacks along the way during all these Twitch streams leading up to MLB the show 17. We've got our lights out, and we got more to talk about. Today we're gonna reveal the last three legends that we're gonna show you before the game comes out. But Ramon, if you do some math, we haven't been showing 30 new legends that we promised. We haven't. We, didn't, we haven't. By the end of today, we're only going to show about ha half of those, really, total. So that means we're going to have surprises throughout the whole year, big names along the way, too. Guarantee it. So, but before we do, we are going to show you a few more today and some flashbacks because we promised those. So go ahead. Let's see our first legend. This is a new legend to MLB The Show Ooh. 17, and it's Buddy Bell. <laughs> Buddy Bell, 69. 69 overall. You may say, why would we put a 69 overall <laughs> card in the game? Well, this year, like we've talked about, we are doing year by year for Legends, so that even means they're not so great rookie years. Um, and there are better days ahead for Buddy Bell, but we chose Buddy Bell because he's actually a really interesting card when we look at the attributes. A 69 overall common with 98 vision. Buddy Bell was defined really a lot of his career by having a great eye. Drew more walks than strikeouts a lot of his career. And there were better days ahead for Buddy, especially when he moved over to Texas later in his career. So you know you'll see some better legend cards. So he's our first uh, legend we want to show off today of the new three. His fielding stats are savage. Yep, his fielding stats are savage. Um, and 255 average, his rookie year, not so great. Low contact, really low power, but yeah, not bad. Really interesting card. Huge, huge PCI at the plate, though, when you're well, using... It could be useful in uh, an event or something. Right. If we would have, let's just say, a common or bronze, you a know, bit. common and bronze this kind of combined event, bit, yeah. he's an interesting card. He's an interesting card. All. Definitely. All right. And then we also promised to show you a few, a few new flashbacks. So let's show you the next uh, flashback that you haven't seen before. Let's go. Low Kane. All-star Low Kane, Lorenzo Kane, Royal center fielder. Buddy Bell was also center fielder in his rookie year. This is his 15 all-star card, all right? So he finished third in MVP voting, voting that year, yeah, Ramon. Yeah. I mean, he had an amazing year. So he gets a diamond card, uh, 92 overall. Let's take a look at his attributes. He had a 300 average, 16 home runs, 28 stolen bases, and that <laughs> translates to some really nice spikes across the board. Much better against lefties. He's a right-handed batter. Um, but look at the defense, 93 fielding, 97 reaction, and some He's really good speed. He's a lot of balls. He's going to be, be one of the best. Out, but you're not, especially with the new ball physics, which yeah. y'all have been seeing so much of, with those tailing, 
Right. And stuff, you're really going to need some good fielders out there. He may be one of the best, you know, top five fielders in, in that position by the end of the year. It'll be really interesting to see who else is going to compete with that kind of stuff. So throughout the day, throughout the mega stream, we are going to have another two legends, yep, another, two legends. another two flashbacks, and I'm guaranteeing all diamonds. Oh! All diamonds. It's lit. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So what else is going on today? Uh, what else is going on today? It is almost 12 o'clock. Dang, we like finished this stream almost to a T. Mm -hmm. Shake, do you have those PlayStation Store slides? So preloading. Yes, we do support preloading if you pre-ordered or purchased the game from the PlayStation Store. That's what it looks like. If you buy it, it will preload. And can we go to the next slide? Next slide, Digital Deluxe Edition, which is exclusive to the PlayStation Store. Can't run out of those. No. Nope. It's a very popular SKU. Uh, if you're a Diamond Dynasty head. This is it. That's the SKU you want to get. If you don't want the Hall of Fame edition. That Diamond Dynasty, I mean the Digital Deluxe Edition is the SKU that Great you want value in there. to have. And then let's go to the last slide from the PlayStation Store. This is live.playstation.com. So as you can see, uh, preloading and when the game will be available. So if you pre-order or purchase the game, from the PlayStation Store, you will be able to play it March 27th, 2017, 9 p.m. Pacific time. So there you have it. We support preloading. The game will probably start preloading um, Saturday, I believe, and then it'll be done in time for you to play it at 9 p.m. Pacific, 327. Midnight Eastern, Midnight 9 p.m. Pacific. 9 p.m. Pacific. So that is it, right? Right? Is that it? Is that it? So let's go back. Uh... But the mega stream is not over. Mega stream is not over. So we're going to take a break. Uh, probably about a th was it a thirty minute break? No, it's longer than thirty minutes. We need to eat lunch. You want to quarterfinals of the tournament or no? Yeah, it's going to take us a few minutes. So what we're going to do? We're going to break. We're going to end the stream right here so we can archive, and then we're going to come back. And while we're eating lunch, we're going to play the quarterfinals of the development tournament. Do we have that slide? Developer tournament. No, we don't have the slide. Ah, so Compton didn't give it to him. This is great. This is how we, how we roll on the last year. So anyway, we'll be back uh, probably in about five or 10 minutes to set it up and then we'll play one of the developer tourney games. Peace out, we'll be back.